When President Uhuru Kenyatta convened a quick jubilee party national executive committee meeting at State House on the 21st of March 2017, Credible Intel had already backed up an internal party decision to pick former Rieda legislator Rafael Tuju as jubilee secretary general, succeeding another Kenyatta loyalist Veronica Minor who had held the post in acting capacity for over a year and who would henceforth ascend to the office of party vice chair, deputizing well-known Kenyatta confidant, former Jubilee chair David Wakairu Murade. <laughs> but slightly over two years later, none other than Kenyatta's second in command and Jubilee deputy party leader William Ruto is questioning Tuju's loyalty to the party in this tweet, which has spontaneously jacked the DP's political lieutenants to action. Kama mtu ambaye ni secretary general wetu, Rafael Tuju, amekua chief strategist, amekua chief strategist wa opposition, that is the enemy within. Na huyo ndio enemy wetu number one. Wewe simama imara na mtumishi wako. But should do you really worry Ruto? Prayer to the now infamous alleged assassination plot against the DP said to have been hatched from within cabinet and which wasn't ongoing rangos in Jubilee. <laughs> Tuju had for weeks been on the firing line of key Ruto allies over a leaked telephone conversation with former Limuru legislator George Nyanja, where Tuju is alleged to plan to drag Ruto's name to the emotive 2007 Kiamba Church Asonist attack that claimed 28 lives. Although Tuju subsequently distanced himself from the recording, Ruto's allies were already calling for his resignation. But in the aftermath of the now 16-month-old Kenyatta Cooperation Pact with ODM leader Raila Odinga, Tuju, who also doubles up as a cabinet secretary without portfolio, enjoys what appears to be a new stature as the president's point man of sorts in Nyanza, occasionally inspecting key government projects in the region. Besides regularly meeting Odinga and other Nyanza leaders on the status of these projects, as recently when Tuju accompanied the president on a tour of Lake Victoria Port, which is due to be launched next month. Oh, Ironically, Tuju's close dalliance with Raila has caused eyebrows in Ruto's camp with the skepticism that the secretary general has suddenly metamorphosed into a political strategist of the ODM leader who according to key Ruto allies is a potential saboteur of the DP's 2022 shot at State House. I cannot claim to be projecting the agenda of Jubilee and not be able to engage with Raila Odinga. Earlier this year, Raila was among top opposition figures who attended the burial of former Youth Enterprise Fund Chair Bruce Odiambo, alongside Tuju and his boss President Kenyatta. A day later, the president's brother Muhoho Kenyatta, accompanied by Tuju, were hosted by Odinga in Bondo during the 25th anniversary of his father, the late Jeramogi Oginga Odinga. At this mausoleum where Kenyatta had incidentally only visited for the first time only a month earlier and performed this ritual described in political circles as symbolic of the ultimate ceasefire between the Kenyatta and Odinga dynasties, crystallized by this March 2018 truce. But might the Jubilee Secretary General be eyeing this truce for a comeback in Nyanza politics? If he chose to run for CIA gubernatorial uh, elections, that would be a good thing. Of course, he'll now, now, he'll now fly into the local politics where uh, people who want to exchange seats uh, for senatorship and governorship would be very averse to that. But the other day, we're during the burial of my brother, I publicly said no. I don't know what part of no people don't understand, so that then I can break it up for them. But why not? I'm an Arabian, and I am involved in private sector as well. I came from private sector. I am still in private sector. Um, being governor of Sierra is not in my scheme of things. Is Yasa 
iko na juu na chini <laughs> na vitisho ni mingi heshima ni kidogo <laughs> na hapa katikati mabroka ni wengi no permanent friends and certainly no permanent enemies in the dirty game called politics. But with the clock first ticking to the 2022 whistle, more shifts in goalposts are no doubt expected as realignments continue. Murumi Mwangkitia News in Nairobi.